sixth grade module one lesson 14 problem set number one complete the table of values to find the following find the number of cups of sugar needed if for each pie carrie makes she has to use three cups of sugar so one pie equals three cups of sugar so then two pies if we double that would be six cups of sugar three would be nine four is twelve 5 is 15, and 6 is 18. So we take the pies times 3, and we get sugar. So 3p is equal to the sugar. Now it wants us to use a graph to represent that relationship. So let's do the number of pies here. So we have 0. I'm going to skip lines just to make it easier to see since they're so close together. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll go, I'll do cups of sugar. I'll go by twos. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, now we can plot. So we had 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, 4, 12, Five, fifteen, and six, eighteen. So there is our graph that shows the relationship uh, between the amount of sugar and the number of pies. Create a double line graph diagram to show the relationship. Okay, so if we have zero pies zero sugar, one pie, three cups of sugar, two pies, six cups, three pies, nine, four pies, 12, five pies, 15 cups of sugar, six pies, 18 cups, seven pies, 21, eight pies, 24 cups of sugar. We could label it, these are pies, sugar. Number two, write a story context that would, rep that would be represented by the ratio one to four. Complete a table of values for this equation and graph. So we need to think of a story. I'll write it down here. Um, since I have my mind on baking from the last one in pies, Maybe let's do something about like cookies. What do you put in cookies? Usually there's a lot of butter in cookies or flour. So let's say for every batch of cookies, Eva makes, she needs four tablespoons of butter. So that would be a ratio of one to four. One batch of cookies, four tablespoons of butter. Let's label this chart. So batch of cookies, tablespoons of butter. We'd have one to four. If we had two batches of cookies, that would be eight tablespoons. Three batches would be 12. Four batches would be 16. Five batches is 20. And six batches would be 24. So if we wanted to have our equation, the equation would be the, um, let's see, we could call it cookies times four is equal to butter, or we could just say 4c is equal to the butter. 
So now we need to put that on our chart, graph it. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's the cookies. And then I'm going to count by twos to get the tablespoons of butter. Two, four, six. So we had one and four, two and eight, three and twelve, four, sixteen, five, twenty, six, twenty-four. There is our graph.